Hi guys, Munoz here. So today's video, I am going to set up a virtual card linked to my M-Pesa account. You can use the M-Pesa app or the USSD. So in my case, I am currently not in Kenya. I'm in Zambia, so I can't use the M-Pesa app because I did not set it up on my phone properly before I left Kenya. The only app I'm using is the My Safaricom app. So this one I was able to set it up while I was in Kenya, so it's fully functional. And I can also use the M-Pesa while here in Zambia using the My Safaricom app. So this one I fully I set it up properly while I was in Kenya, but the M-Pesa app I did not. And here on the My Safaricom app, there is no provision to set up the the virtual card so setting up the virtual card is relatively straightforward all you need to do is dial star 334 hash then you're going to choose option 6 which is lipa na mpesa mpesa then you're going to go to option 5 which is global pay then you're going to select option 1 which is activate then it's going to say please wait to enter mpesa pin it brings this pop-up screen for you enter your pin once you've entered your pin you can send then it brings you a message here class or message global pay card successfully created your card number it shows you your full card number your expiry date and it says from global pay the next thing you need to do is you need to dial star 334 again then you need to go to option 6 again lipa na mpesa you need to go back to global pay then here you see that the options have changed you've now got option 1 view card details in case you forget your card number you can go there then option 2 is very very important which is generate cvv i'll come back to that uh, option three, manage card. That's why you can delete the card, suspend the card or do anything. Option four, you can set repeat payments. Option five, your mini statement. Option six, your cost estimator. Uh, option seven, learn more. Option eight, raise, raise a dispute. So we're going to come here to option two and send. Okay, so it says generate global pay CVV. Please wait to enter M-Pesa PIN. Enter in your PIN and then send. Okay, then it's going to say, Dear Molonda, for your Visa card transaction, kindly use this as your CVV. Please note that the CVV will be valid for only 30 minutes from global pay. So what this means is that each time you want to use the card, you need to generate a fresh CVV. It's going to always be changing. This is most likely some sort of safety measure to protect you against... Uh, uh, frauds and all of that but it does create a bit of a challenge in case you want to save your card onto various payment platforms it means that you can't actually save your card for future use uh, unless you're using platforms which allow you to save the card and then you always have to enter the cvv each and every time you need to transact then there are also some other things to note so if you check here on the messages you see that there is no message coming from safaricom giving you your card number or there's no message from global pay sent giving you your cvv you always have to get them each time you're transacting if you don't save your card and uh, you always need to generate a cvv each time you are uh, transacting so a number of things to note before you start using the card bear in mind that many websites do not allow virtual cards uh, so if you're using it for trading some trading sites don't allow virtual cards they want you to use uh, physical cards uh, reason being some sites would actually want you to verify that it's a real card and you're a real person by taking a screenshot of the front and back of the card with uh, all the relevant details uh, hidden or masked out then also note that the fact that you have to generate a CVV when you're transacting means that you probably will have problems uh, saving this on a number of sites because each time you want to make a payment, you have to edit the card details to change the CVV or you have to delete the card and add back the card. So this could be a problem uh, with those sites which allow you to save a card and also save the CVV. For those sites which allow you to save a card, but you always have to manually input the CVV whenever transacting, this shouldn't be a problem. The other thing to note is that you get a better card user experience if you're using the M-Pesa app, but the fact that I'm not in Kenya means that I cannot use it because you need to have set up the app while in Kenya and you can't set up the app while abroad. But from what I know, you would get a better user experience using the M-Pesa app uh, versus the USSD. But in my case, I'm abroad, so I need to use the USSD. If you want to chip in and help a brother come back to Kenya so that I can set up my M-Pesa app, you can check the link down below. But otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope the video has been helpful. Do let me know in the comment section if you use the M-Pesa virtual card 
and if you have had any issues any tips tricks or hacks for other users who may watch this video thanks for watching guys mulos bye